Have you ever thought about starting your own podcast? When we were trying to get this podcast off the ground, we had so many questions. How do we record an episode? Where do we find background music? How do we get our show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all the other places that people like to listen? And where do we find advertisers? The answer to every one of these questions is really simple. Anchor. Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, distributing, and monetizing your podcast. And best of all, it's 100% free and 100% ridiculously easy to use. Anchor makes it simple to get up and running. You can upload and schedule your podcast ahead of time. It publishes to all the major podcast platforms. You can easily check your stats. I could go on and on, but instead, why don't you go and get started? Go to anchor.fm slash start to join the e-commerce minute and a diverse community of podcasters already using Anchor. That's anchor.fm slash start. We can't wait to hear your podcast. It's the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce, tech, and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The E-Commerce Minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York, and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. It's E-Commerce Minute, episode 301. In today's episode, Walmart teams up with Rakuten on eBooks. Walmart is taking yet another step in its transformation as an e-commerce powerhouse. The company announced a partnership with Rakuten Kobo to bring you eBooks available in store and online. The service will be called Walmart eBooks. Kobo is a small player in the eBook space, taking only 2% of the eBook publishing sales. Their library contains over 6 million titles of New York Times bestsellers, indie titles, and children's books, as well as digital books to complement many of the physical books that the retailer sells in stores. Customers will also be able to buy digital copies of 40 titles in 3,500 Walmart stores using a digital book card and can read them either on a Walmart eBooks app available on iOS and Android or in a Kobo e-reader. As part of the partnership and launch, Walmart will also sell the Kobo Aura e-reader in stores and offer more varieties of Kobo e-readers online. First-time customers who sign up online will be offered $10 off their first audiobook or a la carte ebook as sort of a launch present, and a 30-day free trial will be offered to customers who sign up for the audiobook subscription. The subscription regularly goes for $9.99 a month and includes one audiobook per month. In comparison, Amazon's Audible subscription is currently $14.95 per month. Walmart eBooks by Rakuten Kobo is part of the company's broader partnership with the Japanese e-commerce company. Walmart and Rakuten announced their partnership in January. In addition to eBooks, the partnership includes a grocery service in Japan called Rakuten Seiyo Net Super. Walmart's entry into the ebook market will be challenging. Amazon, as everyone knows, controls this segment and retains an 83% market share in ebooks. As we noted in previous episodes, Walmart has been making some big moves in e-commerce this past year with the $16 billion purchase of Flipkart, a redesigned website, the new Jet Black shopping service, expanded grocery delivery, and their rumored on-demand subscription video service. How about that? How about that? That sounds like fun. <laughs> well, it doesn't seem like, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't seem like a very smart move, but, uh, but I think what they're doing is they're filling in the gaps and where, wherever Amazon's being, wherever Amazon is, they'll just throw in their hat. Yeah. I mean, I, I think Amazon, you know, so what, what Barnes and Noble had, it wasn't a Kobo. It was their version nope. of, Nook, Nook, right? Yeah. I mean, it was a good thing. Is that Borders or Barnes & Noble? Nook Reader. It was one of them. Barnes & Noble. It wasn't Borders. Anyway. Um, Barnes & Noble, correct. Uh, yeah. But, you know, Amazon kind of just took over the whole world completely, right? Yep. I mean, iBooks for iPads still exist and, and people still use it. But, you know, when it comes to reading books, I mean, Amazon just kind of kills it completely because you're across the board. And then with... Um, you know, their purchase of Audible and I have Audible where you can read the book and then listen to the book and it keeps track where you are exactly. And it doesn't matter what you're doing with it. You know, it all of a sudden becomes like, at least for me, you know, I read it on a Kindle and I read it on my phone. I read it on my iPod. I listen to the book. Like it's all integrated and I don't even think about it. Great segue for stat time. <laughs> <laughs> Amazon holds a dominant position in eBooks with 80% of dollars spent on digital print in the U.S. Oh, Audible, as you had mentioned, takes more than 40% of the digital audiobook market. 40%. U.S. consumers spend $3.2 billion on eBooks every year. They spend another $2.1 billion a year on audiobooks. So the biggest obstacle with Walmart is that Amazon is so many years ahead in the eBook and audiobook space. I don't even know if they're even going to try to become the leader. I think it's, it's a me too. 
Um, I yeah. think what, what Walmart's trying to do is they're trying to prime up. They're trying to get all the services and get the, you know, they're going to do the video. They're going to do the audio. They're going to do the eBooks. They're going to do all that stuff. Uh, you know, I don't know. Fo- following their, that leader is, is hard. I think, um, overall it's, it's tough. Uh, you know, I don't know. So oh, Amazon makes 3.5 billion in digital, digital book sales per year. That's just, that's just book sales. They made yeah. $208 billion total sales in the last 12 months. So it's not even a big part of Amazon's business, but it's so, it's going to be so much bigger than what Walmart is ever going to hope to do. Yeah. And then like, you know, also, you know, just to add into like, if you buy like the Amazon unlimited thing, um, you get a whole bunch of books all the time for free. They're just there. Yeah, I'm still a, I'm still a, a you know, paper book kind of guy. I really should get uh, in. Don't get me wrong. I am a paper book guy. The funny part of it is I'm moving, um, <laughs> and I don't want to take all the stuff with me. I mean, like, it eventually becomes a burden. Um, as much as, like, one day I would like to have, like, you know, just a room of books, rare books, that'd yeah. be great. Right. Uh, just the idea, uh, for me at least, like, living in the city, like if you're running around town or doing stuff like that, reading on a Kindle, then I can read it on my phone and not even like skip a beat on it right. and not have it, you know, a book with me in my backpack. Like th- those kind of things just are, it, it just makes it easier. Yeah. And especially if you're a voracious reader, uh, I know that you are, I know that I am, um, but you're run, you run around a lot more and I could definitely see why you would do that again. I just, I, I, I've said this in previous things that I'm a, I love books, but I also love that disconnected part, that analog part of just, okay, get away from the screen, read a couple pages in a nice printed book. Um, I'm but with again, you on that. But again, yeah. when you're on, you know, 10, 15 minutes on the subway, you just yeah. open. It's just different. Yeah. So instead I'll be looking at Facebook, wasting my time, which, you know, I think we're very good. Which so. you kind of can't really because, you know, connection and all that fun stuff. Anyway. You're right, right, right. So I think what Walmart's trying to do is they're trying to build up their ecosystem. Uh, as I said, book, ebook, streaming video, grocery delivery, pickup, two day shipping for online orders. They're trying to become, they're trying to prime up. They're trying to become what Amazon is to many people now. So this is just another piece of the puzzle. Sounds good. All right. Got anything else to add? No, that's it. All right. Full show notes are at ecommerceminute.co. That's your e-commerce minute for today. We'll see you in a minute tomorrow. That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy.